Hey guys, my name is Chris. Thanks for taking the time to check out the video today. I am with the all new 2024 i5 M60. So this particular car is at the top of the model range until the M5 comes out, but this is the all electric variant of the 5 series. This is the performance edition. So you can think of this as an M550i replacement, if you will. I'm going to do a quick dive with you today and of course a deeper dive in another video. I want to highlight what makes this particular vehicle special, so let's get to it. So the first thing you can notice is it definitely has the M Sport look, right? So we have that aerodynamic kit in the front just like we would expect for any of our M Performance models. So you can see that high gloss black and especially we're lucky today with the white uh, paint here. The contrast is really, really crazy. So you can clearly see all of the lines in the vehicle and really what makes this stand apart and look more aggressive. But as we get closer, we do see some familiar elements pulled over from other models, such as that saddle line uh, headlights there. So you can see that darkened uh, headlight there. You can see the blue elements in there as well. This particular car does have the premium package, so it does provide those LED lights with cornering. You can see the cornering element is there as well. Uh, so that is going to provide with those blue elements, letting you know that you do have the upgraded function there. The blue does not mean laser, so do not uh, uh, misinterpret that for anything else. It just means you do have the cornering lights in the side there. They are all BMW LED headlights though, so keep that in mind. As we come around to the front here, what you can see is you can see that uh, satin aluminum surround there in the kidney grill. You can see that there are sensors right in the center there. You can see that intelligence panel, if you will, and prominently placed is the M logo right in there as well. Uh, very, very cool and definitely what we would expect for an M Performance vehicle. Uh, definitely looks really aggressive. Uh, seeing this in person all coming together, looks really, really sleek. So as we come around the side here, we do have the wheels that are going to have that aerodynamic design. Uh, it is an electric vehicle, but even in the 530i that I showcased the other day, all of the, you know, the new five series wheels, they are going to have some aerodynamic design qualities to them just because that is the direction that the company is going. But this uh, this is the 20 inch uh, wheel here and you can see a lot of those elements in there. You have the blue calipers in the back. The M Sport brakes are standard on M Performance uh, models. Really nice is the high gloss black skirt down at the bottom down there. That provides a really nice contrast. We do have the high gloss black mirrors as well. That's going to provide even more contrast, which is really nice. This vehicle is also available with a carbon package, which is going to provide a spoiler and side mirrors in carbon. That also looks really nice. You can see those flush door handles, that embossed five right on the side there. You can see that high gloss shadow line um, around the uh, surround there for the windows. This particular vehicle does have the Sky Lounge. So I'll show you that when we get inside. That's a really, really cool addition there as well. We have those flat panel LED tail lights. You can see that M60 badge prominently displayed in the back there. Coming down to the diffuser, a uh, high gloss black, just like uh, consistent with the rest of the vehicle. We do have our reverse lights in the center now. Uh, that actually is cues taken even from the XM. So that's kind of really cool that integrated that into the i5 M60. You do also have those vertical side markers in there as well. This is something we've been seeing in full M cars for quite some time now. So really nice to kind of see as a product that it's uh, staying consistent across the lineup. So let's take a look inside the i5. All right, guys, let's get started inside the i5 M60. One of the first notable differences from the 530 that we did the other day is that interactive bar that goes all around the vehicle like this. So you can kind of see that uh, crystal bar that goes around, very similar to the 7 Series, if you are familiar with that. It's a very cool addition, and I can certainly tell you at night makes a world of a difference. So taking a look at this, um, certain variants of the 5 Series have this available at launch. The i5 M60 is one of them. For other things not quite available, it will be available from... November production. So keep that in mind. It will be available, but just certain models, uh, 
has it at launch to showcase and others will uh, get it. Another thing that is clearly different is the steering wheel. So you can kind of see that M Sport design because it is the M60, you do have the uh, a tricolor M stitching in there as well. Of course, flat bottom steering wheel. Uh, this new M wheel is just crazy, guys. It is. Uh, it feels a little bit thicker, and uh, really, really a high high gloss black inside there. Uh, you do have that nice aluminum uh, finish there. The design of it very, very sporty, very engaging as it comes up there. And of course, you do have that red 12 o'clock marker there as well. So that is a new addition. Uh, this red marker here will be on M Performance vehicles uh, going forward. So this would not necessarily be available for like an M Sport 5 Series, but if you have an M on the back of the vehicle, uh, you can expect to have the steering wheel. Take a look at the boost function there as well. So def that's definitely uh, something to note. Also to note is it doesn't have paddle shifters. So again, we're in an electric car, but the reason why that boost is there is to get that e-boost so you have that additional horsepower, which is uh, 593 in this vehicle. So zero to 60 is going to be about 3.6, 3.7 seconds. And of course, those numbers are conservative. So just imagine if BMW is saying that it has 593 horsepower, we know it's well into the 600s, which is just M5 territory you know, from the last generation, of course. So uh, definitely a capable vehicle when performance is involved. The rest of the vehicle is basically just like any other 5 Series you're going to see. The design, the layout, everything is uh, very comfortable. Uh, these seats are the upgraded seats, so do keep that in mind. We do have the uh, sport seats, and then we have, you know, the, the multifunctional seats as well. Uh, these are the upgraded seats, of course, because we are in an M60, and that is the reason for that. But the center console here, all of this is going to be the same. Wireless charging down there. Uh, climate, we do iDrive 8.5. Of course, the graphics in here are going to be a little bit different because we are in um, an M product, so that is why you have kind of you know, those M logos everywhere and the graphics is going to be a little bit different. Uh, one thing, again, I do want to highlight is this particular vehicle does have the Sky Lounge. So we're going to take a look at that. Uh, the 530 did not have it. It had the traditional uh, uh, sunroof. So this is going to be, as I mentioned before, going to span the entire uh, length of the roof, as you can see. Uh, very, very nice. It is going to open It is going to open uh, back to front. So the shade is going to come up here and it's gonna be stored underneath here, just like the 7 Series. So that's how that's gonna work. But it is important to remember this glass is not a functional piece of glass. It is going to be fixed. And as you can see, there is no ambient light running through it. And that is different from the 7 Series. So the Sky Lounge, is you can get it with premium as a standalone option or it is included part of the executive package. So if you are looking for basically light and that's all you're really going for, this is a perfect, addition to the vehicle and for backseat passengers as you can imagine it just really makes a lot more uh, light come in back there as you can see so really really nice job there but for those customers looking for something uh, functional and you really want that uh, glass to either pop up or actually fully open uh, you would really need to kind of stick with the uh, traditional moonroof there but everything in the back there is the same from the 530 uh, from our previous video so nothing uh too different to talk about back there, which is expected. We don't really uh, need to have a lot of crazy stuff back there, but uh, this vehicle in terms of performance and what it's capable of is just kind of next level. So again, this is essentially, if you could think of this as the M550i replacement at this point in time. So we are definitely expecting a M5 to be coming Within the next year or so, so more information on that, definitely check out bmwusa.com. Any sort of uh, marketing information will always be there as well. So you can really kind of imagine from, for the M portfolio there is to have the i5 M60 and then above, positioned above that would be uh, the M5 competition. So uh, more information on that, you know, when it becomes available. But until then, if you haven't had the opportunity, uh, definitely check out your local BMW center and the i5 M60. Uh, this car, guys, is crazy. Uh, it makes the prior generation M550 seem sluggish, which is, I'm shocked to say it myself. Uh, so definitely give this car a chance. It is uh, next level, and to see that latest generation of technology uh, coming inside of the uh, uh, new 5 Series here is really, really uh, encouraging and something we've all waited 
quite some time for. So again, my name is Chris. Thanks for taking the time to check out the i5 M60 with me today. Um, if you have any more questions about the 5 Series, links down below is a great uh, resource to check out first. Definitely check out your local BMW center as well. Uh, these vehicles are arriving uh, by the day. Uh, now they have recently been released, so that's why they're all coming in. Great thing to do down below also is the Amazon Marketplace. There's a link to Chris's Beamers there. That is the storefront, so seasonal products, uh, BMW OEM products that I use for my vehicle and recommend for you. Everything is right there that you need. Um, of course, any purchase made there, Chris's Beamers does earn commission on, so please keep that in mind. And at the top of the channel, uh, just tap the join button if you want to be part of Chris's Beamers um, memberships. A lot of great perks in there as well. You can see the description of them and all of the cool perks that our members are currently enjoying. So again, my name is Chris. Thanks for taking the time to check out the video. Please subscribe so you can stay up to date with the latest content. And as always, stay healthy and safe out there.